These key caps, let me just check them out. Whoa, that actually hit Jono. That, that's insane. Ergo keyboards can be kind of weird and inaccessible sometimes, but these ones seem to not be that. It looks like they're not that ugly and they don't look that hard to learn how to use. I'm particularly interested in this one. I got two here. These are both from Cloud9. One of them is a 10 keyless, way more compact. The other one, you can't really see in the picture, but it, it's way wider and it has a numpad and everything, like a full keyboard, which you almost never get on Ergo boards. Um, so I'm excited to look at that one. Let's check them both out, starting with that one. Now don't be confused by the Cloud9 name and logo that looks almost exactly like the Cloud9 gaming team logo, almost exactly. There's no affiliation as far as I know. I thought this keyboard would be wider than this box is, so. Although it's split, so it's probably stacked in the box. Yep, I got one module here. It's pretty heavy and it looks like pretty high quality injection molded plastic. It's like it's not 3D printed and, and crapped here. USB-C interface there that's probably going to connect it to the other module but yeah you can already see it's got full navigation keys numpad i believe these are using browns yeah cool normal arrow keys and then it sweeps up into this tilted area tented area so that you're reducing pronation because right? you don't want your arm to be flat like that it scissors your radius and all the bones in your arm and it pinches tissue uh, which can ca cause RSIs. And it's probably the reason you're interested in, in an ergo board to begin with. Uh, so that's cool. I don't know if you can adjust that tilt level. I think it's just a, a set seven degrees. And then you know what? It's just like kind of your posture. Um, the best thing to do a lot of the time is just to be changing it all the time. So if, you're, if your hand's gonna be going from this to this and then back, that's probably better than just being in a static position regardless of that position. You can see that there's probably some RGB action on here, like an underglow. So we're gonna have to get this powered on and plugged in eventually. There it is. You can see it's a split keyboard, but it does fit together. Just friction, I don't think there's magnets. Oh, no, it does kind of snap. This is kind of glassy, glossy middle section isn't flawless. It's got like some dimples or kind of bumps in it. I don't really love that. Then of course there's this dial which is pretty cool it clicks see how it rocks that's not awesome and that could be useful as far as i understand it you can reprogram it so you could use it to scroll a web page which is dope because then you don't actually have to take your hand off the keyboard which i hate doing you want to keep your hands on the keyboard as much as possible and so if i can scroll like that that's dope uh, i don't have to use page up and down or the arrow keys I think I, I have more control and fidelity with this, so that'd be cool. You can also use it, uh, you can revamp it apparently for games and for media like volume. So we'll have to check that out a little bit. There's no mention of software on the website, so I don't know exactly how we're going to do these things. Uh, looks like there's some macro keys on the side here, which is nice. Going back to what I said about it being accessible, a normal staggered QWERTY layout. Some ergonomic keyboards, like the one I use at my desk, have an ortho linear layout. The keys are just straight up and down in like in columns rather than being diagonal like this, which is atypical. Most keyboards are like this, staggered. So that's what I'm saying. It's not gonna take a big learning curve to get used to this one. Hold on, I just wanna see what else is in here. Uh, of course there's just, oh, there's a little cable. I guess that's for joining the two modules. And there's a long cable. That's gotta be for charging or connecting to the PC. Is this thing wireless? They do, oh, this is cool. It's an angled cord, it actually has a little 45 on there. That is just a nice touch. They didn't have to do that. Cool, I like that this is pretty slim. That's far enough for, I think for most people to spread it about this wide, that's gonna make it pretty even for your shoulders. Um, you could even put your mouse in here if you want. Uh, and that might actually, honestly, with how wide this thing is, when it's spread apart like this, look how far your mouse would be. Can you even see that? I'm way over here at this point. So if you are a gamer and you don't, or you just don't really need the numpad and stuff, you probably want to look at getting the TKL, which uh, we'll unbox in a second. Wait, what? No, the tether cord plugs are directional. Both plugs must angle inwards. You actually have to do it that way. What do they mean? Must, like it just won't work? I'm gonna test that. Oh, you can actually change the dial mode. I'm gonna try all this stuff right after this message from our sponsor. Thanks to Hulkman for sponsoring this video. The Hulkman Alpha 85S helps you jumpstart your dead car battery with no aid needed. It works in temperatures up to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And it jumpstarts with just a five minute charge so you can get back on the road quickly and safely. 
The large battery can hold up to 60 jump starts on a single charge with up to 18 months on standby. Learn more and order yours today at lmg.gg slash hulkmansc. Link below. Apparently it has per key RGB. And again, I don't know how that's accomplished. Oh, cool. Yeah, so there is this kind of diffused side glow thing going on. This thing's lit up. The keys are lit up. I know it has some programmed patterns, uh, but I'm gonna have to look at this to find out how to control them. Red. Can I make it breathe or something though? I don't, I might not just want a static color. I don't know if the side is RGB. Is there a rainbow one? Wait, there you go, it's breathing. It's rainbow. Sick, and that is independent from the keys. That's kind of cool. Do you want to customize the individual key backlighting program macros and more? You can do it all with the PC app. Yes, there is an app. Let's go get it. This software is not commonly downloaded. <laughs> Cloud down if you give me a virus. Man, is this just an edge thing? Because it takes a long time to download crap. This is really annoying. It says no device is connected. Oh, is it because of the cable? Because oh. this one's backwards? And th this is not backwards. This is how it shows it in the, in the picture, but I'll try it. No, it's not a cable issue. Okay, now I wanna plug in my other keyboard and see if that works. So the right module you can see is like half the size. This one has a wrist rest kind of integrated into it. Does that come off? It feels like Velcro. It's Velcro. Comes with a keycap puller. Here's my cables. Okay, well, I think we can pretty much find out everything I wanted to find out about this board with this board. I guess some percentage of customers will have an issue like that. Hopefully not many. Okay, you can actually remap everything graphically in here. I just made my S key into an eight key. That's not cool. Uh, you can't use your keyboard to do that. You have to actually just use your mouse. Yep, the lighting has its own tab and... Okay, here's all the programmed patterns. But it said I could do per key, so how do I do that? Ew, yellow, ew. Who chooses yellow in almost anything? Okay, there's a, there's a speed ramp here for how fast you want the pattern to go. You can change the brightness of the pattern. I don't see this whole, this per key thing, but I don't care. I wouldn't use that anyway. Okay, right, now let's look at this wheel. Oh, that's not a good sound on this one. So the color that it shows actually indicates what mode it's on. It says when it's white, it's volume up and down and the clicking would mute it. When it's red, you can switch applications. Like I guess that would be like alt tab and then you select the application by clicking. That seems useful. Scroll up or down when it's green, and when it's blue, it's your, oh, it's just the brightness of the keyboard. And then you can click it to change your keyboard color. That's okay. I probably wouldn't use that, but I'd use it sometimes. Okay, we got red. Whoa, there it is. It is Alt-Tab. Oh my God, you guys. This is so counterintuitive. You scroll clockwise, but it goes to the right, or to the left. It's going left as I, that is, backwards to me. Am I the only one? I think I'd get used to this counterclockwise thing, but it's just stupid. Horizontal scroll is pretty useful. If you don't have that on your mouse, I would use that a lot on here. If you're using spreadsheets or something like Trello, that's really wide. I would probably use that a lot. I personally prefer ergonomic keyboards that have thumb clusters. I like to use those a lot, but as I said, that's less accessible. This is more like normal. I think the 10 key list is a newer product. The box is a little sexier. Now, if I go to blue, that's a vertical scroll. I'm hoping that's gonna be weapons change. Okay, so here I am in CSGO, the mouse scroll wheel changes weapons. Oh yeah, look, at it, it does work. It's imprecise, you're probably, and it's actually farther from your WASDA fingers uh, than the number keys. But if I had larger hands, I might, and I forgot really good at touching that knob. I like the extra versatility. You could pretty much just have it split like this until you're gaming, and then you can go like that, or even just get this out of the way. Wow. Do you hate doing control A? Well, you've got a select all button. Oh, and this one actually has some legs on it too. That's nice. Uh, so what you're doing there, usually on a keyboard, you're, you're expecting to see these legs on the top and they make them tilt this way. But that's actually bad because you're extending. This is called extension. Uh, this would be flexion. When you extend, that's bad for your wrist. This actually puts it into flexion by lifting up this side of it which is more ergonomic, so. I think these are good keyboards. I think they're a good option for ergonomic keyboards. They got lots of features. They're not that expensive. Some ergo keyboards are like $400. Um, I like these. I like the big one with the numpad. You don't see that often on an ergo keyboard. I don't know where I'm gonna put my mouse if I adopt that keyboard, but these are cool. They're worth looking at. If you like this video, check out some of our other keyboard unboxings. Maybe check out one with Ploof. He just, you know, he has a calming presence.